Hey everybody, Dom here, and welcome, welcome one and all, to a brand new Let's Play. This game has warnings for seizures and things, and it's, it's a scary game. You'll see, you'll see. That's why there's a warning. Here's the opening cutscene, might as well read it. For as long as I can remember, Legend has been, has, uh, Legend has been told about the derelict mansion upon a hill that casts a blanket of darkness over the town. The history of the house itself is virtually unknown. And even the town's oldest residents cannot remember the mansion's origin. Being an avid historian and history enthusiast, you embark up the mountain to visit the manor, hoping to shed some light on the backstory of this crumbling fortress of darkness. All right, let's do this. I know I'm psyched. I don't know about I don't know about you. As soon as the cutscene ends, you'll see what game this is. Or, alternatively, you could have just read the title that's written on top of the video, and never mind. Get ready, because we're going to play... Yeah, press enter. Some... Spooky's House of Jump Scares! Let's go forth, and play said game. This game is available on Steam for free. Feel free to download it and play yourself, it's pretty fun. The... the... the yeah, 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 let's go forth. <clears throat> uh, new game. This is the controls, and yeah. I'm, I'm okay with that. WSD is pretty much like a shooter. Okay. Hello. <laughs> and this is my home. Can you, humble player, make it through a thousand rooms? Can you find what lies at the end? Or is there even an end? Because I, I don't really know. Anyway, just just go. And there we have it. That is the setting. That is the plot. That is the theme. That is what's going on. We're tasked with going through a thousand rooms. So, pretty much I'm going to do like, I don't know, I think there's a checkpoint once every 50 rooms, or either it's once every 100 or once every 50. Probably 50. Once every 50 rooms, I'm going gonna, gonna cut, to cut the video and make a new video. Let's go forth into the spooky scariness of jump scares. That's, that's, not, that's not the title of the game. Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Should be pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Now, admittedly, I've played this game a little bit off-screen, so I get the, the, the recording settings good, and the volume levels, and everything like that. I made it to floor, I don't know, 250? Beats me. So, beyond that point, I don't know what's going on, but in, up until that point, I know what's going on. Now, you notice how in the top right corner it says rooms, 5. I could continue down this hallway, but why, 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 what, why would I? Why should I? I make progress by just going to the closest door. So, whoa. Whoa, weird. So just go forward and make progress and click buttons and yeah. On the top left you have a health meter. It's self-explanatory, it just looks like a heart and a red bar. And under that, stamina. So I click shift and I walk. When in doubt, go left. That's my motto! And it'll hopefully play me well throughout this let's play. And so far, you know, there's noises and it's kinda spooky. You have like rooms with windows and like, candles on a desk. People some some people are like split up about the, the whole the this whole art style like this. Art, an art style is like all two-dimensional and pixelated in a way. Kind of ugly, right? Ugly walls, ugly floor, everything's kind of ugly, but eh. Even this candle is not actually a 3D object. It's a 2D object sitting on top of a table. That is 3D. Hmm. I played this game originally in early access. Well, or like beta or whatever. Or alpha or, you know, before it actually came out. But now that it's out, might as well do a let's play of it. When in doubt, go left. So far, so good. No, there's no jump scares yet. There's no actual scares at all, pretty much. How's this? Oh, dresser. Okay. Uh, window, nothing of interest. The trolls are kind of weird. Like, moving this much, it's it's like me moving my entire hand really far left and right. Like, the sensitivity's a little off, but it's okay. It's not, you know. The game, it's not a first-person shooter. You don't have to have the most accurate, best controls you could ha possibly have. It's a horror game, and it becomes scarier. It starts off... Pray oh my god. <laughs> no, no. Um. Jump scare. Uh, <laughs> my sanity. Let's go left. Now, I should note. This is a, I should preface this, but I should tell you something. The thing is, oh, by the way, this is like a P-shaped room. It's like, there's no point in going that way. It just leads to the same hallway. See, it goes away. Same thing. Yeah. I should say, I don't usually swear... But when I get jump scared, you know, the part of your brain that's, that controls whether or not you're swearing or not just sort of shuts off, and I will say stuff like, shut up, and I'm, ah, and, ugh, and oh my god. Things along those lines. Think, yeah, things along those lines. Perhaps actual swear words. And so, I apologize in advance for swearing. Okay. 
This is the door. You, you can't go back. See, nothing happens when I click. Mm. Alright. I'd imagine that you eventually get a weapon in this game. That's why there was a, a button for, for, for shooting. Wait, was it? In the very beginning, and when I said the number, the keys and numbers and stuff? Hmm. Ooh, a note. Interesting. Oh, what's this? A painting with two tears in it. Mm. Looks nice, in a weird way. I don't know. Okay, note. <clears throat> At first, this place just seemed cute. But I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched uh, now, and I keep getting this feeling like someone's watching, like being watched by something. Do do do. And I look around the room as if like there's gonna be something there. This is not romantic at all. The hell, romantic? Weird phrasing. Okay. Perhaps in the past the word romantic meant something different. When is this game set? Oh my God! Shut up. <laughs> no. Uh, will this room exist in real life? How weird. Huh, whatever. Okay, this room has some chairs. And the door. Whoa. You heard that music sting? That was scary a little bit. Let's continue on. Um, when in doubt, go left. Okay, room 32. That's pretty far so far. Ah! Oh my god. Shut up. When in doubt, go left. When in doubt, when in doubt, Oh my god! It's too many jump scares in a row. Shut up! It's not like it's still playing. Oh my god. Uh, what's this room? Nothing of interest. Nice carpet. Looks looks pretty nice. I like I like the, I like the design. Kind of ugly colors though. The colors they could be better. This is interesting. Kind of reminds me of the Binding of Isaac, the main character. Well, or a monster in that game. I don't know. Either way. Hmm. I have nothing to say about that art. There's a lot of art and paintings and stuff in this game. Just. Something worth noting. Let's continue on. Go forth, then. I feel like another jump scare is going to happen here. No? Hasn't. Okay. Hmm. Huh? Ooh, this is freaky. It's like a woman with hair in her face. But also, it's kind of like a skeleton. Hmm. Eh, I wouldn't hang that in my house. But I could imagine it, it's pretty... It's, it's alright. It's, it's not that ugly. This is a bedroom up here. Can I sleep? No. Can I look at this at all? No, oh, like a look at it. I can't like open it. Mm. Let's head on forth, 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 forward. Nothing interesting here. When Dalco left, and it paid off. Sweet. Nothing. Oh, oh. There's actually something in here. Huh? Bed. Huh? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. It's just a bed. It's just a bed. And yeah, why did I turn around? Okay, let's go. Do 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 do. So far, not so scary. Okay, this room again. Might as well just walk. Went and go left, and it was it turned out to be the exact same room. Layout sort of thing. Hey, this room this room again. Sweet. Let's go forth. Went and doubt, go left. Pays off. And here is a room. Kinda of freakier. The, the ambience sort of changed. There's the carpet, there's the exit door. Here's a nice painting. Has like I can't I, I can't really get closer. It looks it looks nice. Kind of like a um, burnt candle wax or something. A, the blackness on a red sort of background. Kind of like the surface of the sun, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what to describe that as. It's, it's pretty It's pretty nice. I liked it. It wasn't the best. It's kind of spooky. Whatever. Went down to the left. Yeah. A room. Another thing. Uh, kind of like smoke. Hmm. Yeah. yeah it's pretty nice. Oh yeah, one other thing I should mention. Eventually we'll find uh, rooms where like, there's like a console or a computer or something. When I go to click on said thing, I may have to edit the footage and I may have to stop recording for a second because for some reason this game is weird. This game changes the, it changes the resolution of the actual window and the actual game when it, when it goes into like these, these sort of situations. And I'm just saying technical things, but you'll just, you'll just see. There might be weird, weird cuts. Oh my god! We're in room 50. Yeah. We're in room 50. Hang in there, man. Okay, cat. I will, I will do that. There was a note. And I believe this is a save station. Save station! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's... Whoa. This is... It's unfortunate to see this, this sort of glitchiness. This is what's referred to as Zed fighting. It's when two textures occupy the same space, and they sort of, like, act weird when you move the camera a bit. Zed fighting, Dragon Ball Z fighting. Anyways, no, no, not Dragon Ball Z fighting. 
Anyways, it's unfortunate because this game was in beta and alpha, and you'd think they'd work out, they'd work out these problems. Maybe this is on purpose, though. Maybe this could be on purpose. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Hard to say. Uh, let's read the note, and then we'll call an episode, because we made it 50 rooms, and we made it to a checkpoint room. A very perfectly safe, completely safe checkpoint room. Anyways, let's read what it says. I know something is following me, but I feel like I am, uh, pay, uh, prancing? Prancing? Prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully, leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I am making progress and reaching a destination. Yeah. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. Okay, so this person is very thirsty. Alright, makes sense. Hey, cat. I like that, like, in a spooky game, like, such as this one, that one I'm playing right now, you have things like this, a cat. Yeah, not spooky at all. Makes you feel better. Okay. In the next episode, we will click this button and see what happens. And proceed forward onward. I like to stand in corners in scary games, you know? Because you don't have, like, a very big field of view. Like, if, you stand, if I stand back up back here in this corner, I can see everything, right? More or less. Anyways, let's end, the let's end off the episode. Thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Hopefully, I'll see you again in the next episode of this, of this series. Tell me if you love the series. Tell me if you want to see more. Stuff like that. I'm probably going to make more regardless. Because that's just how I roll. Eh. Uh, yeah. But you know, give me hints and stuff. Don't, 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 don't give me spoilers though. No spoilers, please. Other people in the comments, you might, they might read the comments. Other people and be like, oh no, this is how the the game ends. Darn. And I'm gonna be unhappy, and they're gonna be unhappy. Everyone's unhappy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Au revoir.